this is a story that's going to be told on a record. So I'm going to put the record on the record player and we'll start listening to it. Here we go. Danny. This is the story of seven little postmen. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the postman's whistle toot. Like this. Let's begin now. Tommy has a secret. What a grand surprise. He's writing Dearest Granny with a twinkle in his eyes. Now the story of this letter is the reason for this tale of the seven little postmen who carry the mail. Tommy takes the letter and seals it with red wax, then runs down the sidewalk, avoiding all the cracks. The mailbox opens, the letter drops in. Won't Granny be delighted, thinks Tommy with a grin. The first little postman empties out the box. He takes all the letters and he walks 11 blocks to the main post office with its big unloading docks. The postman empties out his pouch upon the sorting table. And look, there's Tommy's letter with a bright red label. A canceling machine is next. Zip, clickety-clack. It cancels out the postage stamp with a mark that's round and black. Postman too sorts the mail. He does his very best. He sends them north, he sends them south. He sends them east and west. First class for this, airmail for that. Some are skinny letters, and some are big and fat. After they are sorted, then Postman 2 is done. He gives them all to Postman 3 to take along his run into the pouch and tie it tight. Tommy's letter will travel all night. Postman 3 is on his way. And one thing is true. No matter what the weather is, the mail must go through. When you mail a letter, you can send it anywhere. On foot, by truck, by aeroplane, the postman gets it there. So write a letter to a friend and maybe she'll write you No matter what you always know The mail must go through Yes, the mail must go through The mail must go through No matter if it rains or snows The mail must go through I said the mail must go through The mail must go through No matter if it rains or snows The mail must go through Up and away through sleet and hail, this airplane carries the fastest mail. The pilot flies through whirling snow, as far and as fast as the plane can go. Here's Postman 4 on the evening train, and there's the mail pouch on the crane. As the train speeds along the shining rails, he hooks the pouch, and away he sails. While the passengers sit and enjoy the ride, the postmen are working side by side. Tommy's letter gets sorted with the rest of the mail that's traveling off to the west. Oh my, it's time to flip the record over so you can hear the rest of the story. Wait one little second. Okay, here we go. At a country station by a country road, the fifth little postman receives his load. The clerk throws the pouch with all his might to the fifth little postman, who grabs it tight. There goes the mail truck on its course, past some cows and a baby horse. Then comes a town that's so very small 
The post office there is hardly one at all. A stack of mail is left at this stop. And there's Tommy's letter, right on top. Postman Six must sort the mail again, but still it gets out by half past ten. Postman Seven carries chickens and fruit with the mail to the folks along his route. He stops with sugar at the country store. Mr. Jones greets him at the door. For Mrs. O'Rourke, with all her ills, he brings a bottle of bright pink pills. There's little Terry in his yard. The postman brings him a funny card. There's something for Sally and something for Sam and a recipe for Mrs. Ben for raspberry jam. There were dozens of chickens for jolly Mrs. Pickens and a dress for a party for Mrs. McCarty. At the last house along the way sat the grandmother of the boy who had sent the letter. She had been wishing all day Tommy would come to visit, for she lived alone in a tiny house and sometimes felt quite lonely. Then she heard the postman's whistle. Land sakes! Well, it must be Charlie with some mail for me. Sure enough, there was the letter with the red wax. Good gracious! I wonder who sent me this fancy letter? So she opened it up, and here's what it said. Dearest Granny, I am writing to say that I'm coming to visit on Saturday. My cat has seven kittens, and I'm bringing one to you for your very own kitten. The postman is my friend. Your grandson, Thomas. Well, Granny got her letter. The story is all through. So the seven little postmen say goodbye to you. When you mail a letter, you can send it anywhere. On foot, by truck, by aeroplane, the postman gets it there. So write a letter to a friend, maybe she'll write you. No matter what, you always know the mail must go through. Well, the mail must go through. The mail must go through. No matter if it rains or snows, the mail must go through. I said the mail must go through. The mail must go through. No matter if it rains or snows, the mail must go through. Some folks live in the city, some live in a little town. Even if you live out on a farm, that's a postman making his rounds. So mail someone a letter, even just a card will do. You know it's nice when the postman has a letter in a sack for you. Because the mail must go through, the mail must go through. No matter if it rains or snows, the mail must go through. I said that mail must go through. The mail must go through. No matter if it rains or snows, the mail must go through. Oh yeah, the mail must go through. The mail must go through. No matter if it rains or snows, the mail must go through. You know that the mail must go through. The mail must go through. The end.